Hello, my name is Atlee Barthoff with Kinetic Audio Technology. In this video, I'll be showing you how to access the Core Configuration Manager for the HelixNet Digital Intercom System. First thing you're going to want to do is connect your system to your computer via the Ethernet module. You will need an ELI ET2 module in order to do this. Okay, once you physically connected the main station to your computer, you flip around to the front panel and we're going to access the networking settings. I recommend setting up a static IP. That way, if you lose power, your system goes down. You can recover much faster. So under networking preferences, you go to DHCP and hit disabled. Then under IP address, you can set a custom IP. I've already set my IP address on the device here, so I'm going to go ahead over into my computer and on a Mac, we're going to go into our network settings under system preferences and I have configure IPv4 set to manual and I have my IP address set here. Now I can type in the IP address of my device. Now once you enter that IP address, it'll ask you for a username and password. By default, this is admin admin. And now I've connected to the CCM on a Mac. Now if you're on a PC, we can show you how to do that as well. On your Windows settings, go ahead and go to Network Internet. I'm going to go over to the left here to Ethernet. I'm going to change adapter options and let's see here is my ethernet connection I'm going to right click properties I'm going to locate my IPv4 settings here go to properties click follow this IP address and then type in your custom IP and hit OK all right, now that we've logged in, we will land here at the overview page. This will show us all connected devices in the system. Shows you linked base stations at the top. Down here in the bottom, you'll see any remote stations, speaker stations, or bell packs. You can see at the moment, I don't have anything connected to my device. Let's go ahead and to the device page now. Here we have access to general settings. This is where we can save and restore settings for our base station. You have access to reset the base station here as well as rebooting. You have your network settings if you want to change your IP address. Linking settings to connect multiple base stations. And the hardware ports connected to your base station. We'll go to the roles page now. This is where I have access to the custom roles where you can change key sets on our roles, gives us access to belt pack roles, remote station and speaker station roles. We can also update the main station role as well. And I'll cover roles in more depth in another video. And the last page here is assignments. These are all the channels. We can rename these and we can also assign these to specific ports of our HelixNet station. I'll go in more in depth on this in a later video as well. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more coming soon.